Alas, the Lions of Men and Elves is here defending Helm's Deep. What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here with another Dawnless Day Caesar out of you today, and we're back on Helm's Deep. Another glorious uh, battle here. But it feels like only yesterday that I was recording that Boromir uh, last stand sort of like uh, battle at Helm's Deep. And oh boy, do I have a last stand view here today. Apparently, this is. Uh, sent in by the player that sent this in. This is an incredible last stand between the uh, elves and the men of Rohan against the forces of Isengard and Dunland. Um, so we are using the Last Breath submod for this one. I don't know if that really adds anything for this one, but it is on on the list. And also the Warriors of Arda, which um, I think is a unit overhaul. I have never heard of this um, submod before, but it is a submod that I've seen increasingly being used. Uh, in replays and adds, I think, uh, a couple of new units um, for a few factions, I think including um, the men of Rohan, who now have a shock infantry unit. We have Westfold Axes here as a uh, as a shock unit. So I feel like I remember seeing like a Westfold Axe unit before in a previous submod. Maybe they've just changed the name. I have no idea. I'm kind of losing track a bit of what submod used to be what. We have, yeah, a new shock unit for... Um, but Rohan, they have a, these uh, elite shock infantry, the Silver Chevron as well. Oh my gosh. The elves are very much blocking at this uh, choke point as well. Heroes of Ammon, Lank, and Gladium Spears. That is going to be a no go to getting trying to break through. I wish luck for that mortal rabble to even penetrate one uh, like spear line or something like that. But we've got Axe Stains back here. A lot of like uh, elite units back here. We've got Urkenbrand with Helming Gas as the uh, general here. Firing his ammo already. He needs to hold fire. Wasting your ammunition there doing that. Um, we have smartly seen that the sappers are coming forward here in a tower and then they're going to probably, I guess, get out and blow up the breach when uh, they feel safe to. But yeah, a lot of ammo is being expended by Twilight Guard and various other units uh, very cheaply. There's not anything really to fire at. There's just towers coming up. So they're kind of just wasting their ammo. Um, but yeah, it's a very much one-sided affair at the moment with numbers. Uh, 7,700 attackers against 3,500 defenders of the men of Rohan and the elves of Lothlorien who have come to the aid. So yeah, we've kind of gone from more of a, a film uh, themed sort of like siege battle rather than a uh, than a book one, which is just Rohan. Uh, I would like to do like a, 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 just a Rohan defense. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, I think it could be quite tough, but I think it could be quite enjoyable. And obviously, uh, we have no cavalry coming to save the day. So it is just the men inside the Hornburg here that are going to try and save the day, which is, I think that kind of is fine. I feel like you've got to have like a whole army outside. Otherwise, it's just basically dedicated to facing off against the cav, because otherwise the cav never does anything. Usually. But here we go. We have a first engagement, and we have the men of Dunland here going in. Warlord's Blood Swarm going in. A pretty solid unit, very light melee infantry. Um, so maybe they're not as good as they used to. I thought there was a Blood Swarm that was pretty decent. Maybe they just reduce these guys to lot, very light. I haven't played Dunland in ages, so I've kind of forgotten. Uruk infantry here, they're getting focused on. I can tell you that is a bit of a waste of a very, very good sword unit here. And I'm waiting for these sappers to blow up this breach. Go on, boys. Go on, you know you want to. You can't stand there forever. Someone will shoot you eventually, and you haven't got any missile block. Okay. You're, you're, oh, here we go. Fire has been given. Oh, that's anticlimactic. That is actually hilarious. Have they managed to not blow up the wall? Yeah, they've used all their ammo, and the wall's not blown up. Well, that's a bit of a... That's very awkward for the sappers. Did you actually, guys... Did you guys... Did you remember to put any gunpowder in there? Don't cheer. You didn't blow up the wall. I think you forgot to put any gunpowder in those bombs, sir. And you've just blown up nothing. But well, that is... That is awkward. I think... Did they bring a spare sapper? Guys, did you bring a spare... No. No one brought a spare sapper. Well, I guess it's the walls the for, uh, for Isengard, then. Which is okay, because uh, Dunland's already made a bit of a breach point. A bit of a bridgehead here. And they are going to have to try and use that to try and uh, push on because Isengard's already letting down the team and they've forgotten to blow up the wall. They've got to put any at, any sort of gunpowder in that bomb and they've uh, they failed. So yeah, I guess, you know, this when they capture it, if they do manage to capture a Helm's Deep, you know, it's going to be intact as this wall. You're going to save any repairs you've got to do. It's a costly affair repairing that wall. But yeah, it looks like uh, Twilight Guard getting focused down by... Uh, Urukai archers outside the wall. Look, they're like trying to shoot the Haldir, uh, who's got the Warden of the Fences. Uh, or, yeah, Warden of the Fences. Well, it's, it's a strange name. I'm still not sure if I'm a fan of it. I uh, don't know what, exactly what fence you are guarding, but also there are 
well, a whole load of uh, Haldirs, 64 of them. It's a very scary uh, sight, to be honest. But yeah, I just realized those unit sizes aren't on full. We've got like 128 Axe it's a strange number. But still, it does not matter, it's still a very epic battle. Minus the wall breach not going off. But yeah, Dublin's actually getting pushed back. They are kind of suffering here. They could really do with using the uh, Urukai Archers firing to the side of the uh, early Mutanians here down here and trying to do some serious damage to them there. But uh, we'll see whether they can uh, do any do any pushing. I mean, the Silver Chevrons on these defenders is not reassuring me, I won't lie. Um, because I feel like defenders have a lot of the cards already in their hand. So if you like give them like upgrades, makes it really tough on the attackers, that's for sure, for an assault. But we'll see. Maybe Isengard uh, is going to be the real sort of like push, not uh, Dunlin, we'll see. I think it's on large armies as well, so um, I think both, like the attacks got a lot of units to expend. Blood Swan here, yeah, really suffering. I don't know if they meant to pull through there or what's quite happened, but they are now here. Yeah, it looks like they kind of pulled through and just actually outflanked them. They are going to wave and break from this, but I don't know if this is they're meant to do this or this is just like giving an attack order. Pathfinding might be a bit of a pain around these these walls, these like these stairs. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's have a look at. Oh, did they? How quick did they break? Oh, there's 21 on them left. Not so bad. Uh, I see how the shameful uh, eight. As they are. I was going to say the shameful dozen, but they're not even a dozen of them. Uh, and now on the wall. Uh, I'd not even bother to execute these guys. Don't waste a single shot of them. I wouldn't even want to stab them. Just let them through. Cowards. Let them, you know, try and redeem themselves. But yeah, it looks like uh, Mortal Ra Bo Rabble here. Well, not Bo Rabble. Just Mortal Rabble. They're just going to wait and look at that defense. And I don't blame them. I don't think it's worth attacking. I would like to see if they could make this a little bit easier to assault. Or honestly, like as a defender, you should just try and make this so it's not just lines like pole arms here. I'd almost make, like make a ban if you wanted to of A having pole arms in Helm's Deep. Uh, if you do like obviously like Rohan they can't bring pole arms. I ban the elves from bringing pole arms um, if you were to do it like a, a film like version. Uh, I just like make them have like shock infantry and bows and that's it. You could like I really feel like a, a Helm's Deep battle if you're going to do it properly should really be sort of like uh, micro as to what people bring especially like the elves because otherwise you just bring like yeah twilight guard and like a load of elite stuff but the elves if you just put them on the wall like the shock on the wall and fight them there they'll kill so many oryx and dunlin dunladings that like it won't matter what you bring like, just give them the shock shock excels on the wall they would have been fine but it's still interesting it'll be interesting to see how this one goes down isengard is now yeah trying to battle on through here but yeah, it just basically just putting pole arms. It just kind of like nullifies this this whole this whole uh, sort of a like gateway. It just kind of makes it uh, like, uh. So I guess what do I do now? I mean, you can if you're aware uh, of it. These uh, mortal bow rabble could sneak up here. I mean, you can see the retreating dunlendings are going that way. But you go through that gate there, and then you end up uh, over here, which is also being well prepared by the defenders with Westfold Axemen and the Heroes of Amon Lang. So not exactly a much easier. Uh, Assault here, and also these uh, helming gas can get on this side of the uh, of the of the uh, wall, and they can just fire down into the back of that engagement if they want to, and make it really, really tough and horrible for the attacker. So yeah, maybe the wall is the best opportunity. We'll see. Yeah, Dunland's not really got any further. To be honest, they've been pushed back. I need, we need to see more. Uh, we're going to need to see some more X, I think. I mean, we are seeing a couple, but not, not enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Erling retainers down here. Well, actually, this one's winning. Maybe those retainers are yet yeah, dying. It's going to help out. I mean, the spears here, more bow rabble into the back. Oh, so why do I want to keep on calling them bow rabble? They're just normal rabble. They're going into the back there, the uh, retainers. I think these retainers almost pulling through has got themselves killed. Yeah, 
Yes, but those are bow those are spear rabble coming in. I'm going to just start calling them spear rabble. I don't know why, uh, but yeah, the rabble in there it's kind of sealed the fate of those retainers. We've got Uruk Infantry now coming down here. They might get focused down in the side. We'll have to see. But yes, if you're enjoying all things Dawnless Days and would like to see some more Lord of the Rings action on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show you support. It really does help out the channel work towards 10k subs and I don't know why it's a little bit a little bit janky a little uh, hopefully it's okay but yeah here we go more stuff being landed now it looks like we've got Dunherd Chosen coming up which are a very cool shock in which they do have um, the ability to sort of like throw um, missiles as well and they have a bit of rework I just realized Warriors of Arda have they reworked the Dunherd Chosen I think they have that's kind of cool I did not realize they did that that was interesting probably why Dunherd's being used Get a rework. Probably why the Bloodsworn are very light. It's probably because uh, they get a rework in Warriors of Arda. Oh yeah, there's a whole load of new units back here which I've never seen. Oh, I did not realize. Defenders of Bonavale. Uh, oh. The ha white hands keep disappearing and reappearing. They're just basically like uh, white and stormers with spear variant. What do we have here? Half orc warriors. Oh right, so we just have some some orc boys fighting for Dunland. What do we have here? Dunland swords. I feel like Dunland swords look a little bit different. As well, they do look very different. The We've got the uh, sort of like the more like uh, I don't know what shape that is really. Sort of like hexagonal shapes. Not really hexagon. Yeah, hexagonal shape. Half orc warriors. Yeah. Okay. Blood Avengers. I imagine these guys. The well, they're, they're light shock in this. Okay. Instead of being very heavy. Okay. And they kind of look better. I do like that look. It kind of gives them a very like sort of Dacian look. I feel like we're going with Dacian, very like Slavic sort of look. Kind of cool. I'm a bit of a fan of that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that's kind of new. But yeah, we are seeing a lot more troops being landed now. The defenders are getting a little bit more stretched. We're seeing archers come towards the wall as well. I don't know the archers. They're getting shot at quite a bit. But if they can set up and start to uh, have their influence on this wall fight, then there's definitely a good chance of these guys actually pushing out. Bloodsworn seem like they're trying to break through. We'll see if they can manage it. And there you go, they broke through. They broke through this fight. And now into early men at arms here. It's gonna be tough. An artillery piece as well back here. I didn't realize you could put artillery on this back bit. I don't know if I'm a fan of that, but yeah. Rohan has an onager here, which I imagine it, well, actually looks as more like it's used at all, or well, very little, like maybe one round's been used. So clearly they didn't want to, didn't mean to bring it. We've got archers of melee here, I don't know if that was a mistake or pathfinding or what. Or if they are really in there, I can't see any Dunherd archers, oh no. There are plenty of Dunherd archers in there. And they're dying to shock infantry. Yeah, I don't know if that was a mistake. What? A unit is running from the enemy. Seems like the shocking tree here holding. Isengard back here, basically its start point was Isengard and Dunland back at their start point. Shockham June here, yeah, really uh, struggling. Well, no, sorry. Shockham June doing very well. The uh, Isengard's really struggling. Uh, we have got Shocks now, Shockham June now landing here, though. Dunland Chosen coming in. They haven't used any of the uh, missiles so, uh, and the throwing axes. They are helping to carve through these remaining early containers here. Once they get through those, it doesn't like there's any reserves being kept back here. It actually looks like the elves are pulling back fleeing. archers, uh, which I'm a little bit concerned that they're pulling them back. Oh yeah, and they piled up this as well. I do like that. Like players want to really like 
you know, use all the map and like make it really grindy. But I honestly think like sticking these pole arms in here is going to make it a right pain for any attacker to get through. And they'll set up, might set up archers here just to make it, you know, a little bit more spicy. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. Did Isengard bring any pikes? That's a good question. And we have dogs here as well. Wards, wolf tamers, yep. Yeah. No pikes. I don't see a single pike actually being brought by Isengard. So I don't know how they expected to get through that final sort of like, those final choke points when the, uh, the pole arms inevitably set up there. Uh, maybe archers? Um, that might work. Or maybe the, uh, like, I I know, the, see the field throwing axes? I really this do not know. shameful display. But here we go. It looks like we're going to see Urukai infantry. They're getting uh, off the wall, and we'll see what they can, what, they, what they're going to go for. Well, they're going to get charged instead by Gladrum swords. Turn around, boys. Turn around. Kill, kill them all. Archers coming in from Twilight Guard returning. Instead of going to fight uh, further into the settlement, they're going to hold here. I think the elves shouldn't be allowed to ever fall back. That's also a rule I like to try and have when I do uh, Helm's Deep, which I don't do very often. But when we have done it in the past, we've like gone, ah, yeah, don't have, don't have them like further back than just the Hornberg. Have them there. Like, just have, sorry, the Deeping rule. No elves in the Hornberg itself. Yeah, no surprise, these elves are surrounding this Uruk infantry and they're going to kill it off. But no issues there. A light shock here. I don't know if I like... Um, I've honestly forgotten what they're called as well. Why have I forgotten what the shock's called? I don't know if I like Dunlin Shock, Dunlin Chosen's being... Oh, they're very light. That makes sense. I don't know if I like the uh, the Elite ones who, um, being... Blood Avengers being uh, lights. I feel like Heavy was fine. They might not look it, but they. I feel like it worked quite well for them. Oh my god, there's a serious amount of blobbing going on down here. They, also, they forced back the Elsa, which they could just disengage and fight over here, which I think is what's happened. A bit of a mess, that's for sure. I need to kill these last elven units, but they're really struggling to do that. Yeah, if you want to send in any of your own replays to be featured on the channel, whether it's Dawn of Stays or whether it's something else, feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description. You're more than welcome to come and join and get involved in any uh, battles as well or any streams. You're more than welcome to get involved in those. Just, again, just join the, uh, the Discord. The link is down below in the description. Best place to go to get involved in any sort of my streams and find out when they're happening as well. Archers here keeping these uh, shock infantry at bay. It's nice to see. They just keep shooting away, shooting and shooting. Gladium Soul Warriors, you can see, they're falling back. They shock him, which has a very poor missile block chance. So, uh, yeah, these guys getting shot at by archers is actually pretty costly for them. And, uh, yeah, they, they are running for their lives. Actually, looks like the rest of the elves are going to run for their lives. All the way up here are the, uh, the elves that have managed to get back. Twilight Guard, some of them in pretty bad condition, but still an elite bow unit that can do some serious damage. And we still got most of Rohan's army, I feel like, to be committed, which is uh, not really been committed. Oh, they made it an assault up here. I did not see this, but Westfold axes kind of really suffered quite a bit. Looks like it's just a, um, a shock infantry, maybe. I think it's one of the shock. I mean, it's done her chosen units gone up here. It's kind of like, yeah, just got battered up. I don't know. Here's Vamalank, didn't lose a man or an elf, but uh, yeah. But Westfold axes did. And yeah, look at this. Cowardly elves retreating. There's so many of them retreating. It's, it's not even like that bad. They could have definitely stemmed this tide and just carried on the fight there. They just decided not to. We're seeing a lot of forces now being blobbed up. Well, not blobbed up, but like forced around the gate here. Oh, and then we've seen the Westfold axes actually sallying out. Okay.
Cut him down, boys. Cut him down. It looks like uh, Erkenbrand's not going to be having to worry about any sort of fighting anytime soon. His uh, Warriors are doing a good job. There he is, Erkenbrand at the front lines. It's eye patch on. Yeah, he doesn't look like he's going to have to worry about any sort of fighting anytime soon. Glorious. Yeah. Oh, it looks cool. They do look cool, I will admit, like the, uh, the axe stains and things like that. Standing in front of the Hornberg. Ready to fight on. Oh, the mod does look good, I will admit. It does look amazing. If you haven't checked out the Dawn of Stays mod yet for Total Water, I don't know what you're doing. It's, uh, if you're a fan of like, Lord of the Rings, it's a must try. It really is. So I just made a quick, uh, not cut, but like just pause the replay to see whether I can sort out any of the juddering. There's a little, just a little juddery sometimes when I'm zooming in. I don't know, I like close a few things to try to see if that will work. It doesn't seem like it's worked too much, so uh, yeah. Might just be something to do with the sub mod, I do not know. But hey, we move on. We move on as these uh, Gladium Sword Warriors are getting sliced and died. That is unfortunate, yeah. Early retainers as well as are suffering pretty badly. I'm going to see Berserkers there flanking in. They're going to engulf the remains of the, the resistance down here. So maybe it was a good idea for the defenders to retreat. But I still feel like there's a lot of elves that could have given, up, given their lives to fighting on down here. Instead, they're cowering up there in the Hornberg. Cowards, a lot of them. Yeah, they're trying to assemble up their uh, their forces here now, our eyes and guard getting ready. You can see the white place. hand banner rising in the uh, in the sky. And they've got further than a few other uh, a few other attempts I've seen at Helm's Deep. Yeah, that's it boys. Cheer, cheer. Helm's Deep will soon be ours. Saruman will have his first great victory very soon. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So his first sort of attack has kind of succeeded. I think a bit of a fruitless counter attack down here failed. Half Orc Warriors. He's getting some kills. I mean, with the support of archers here, yeah. Dropping these uh, Westfold axes. Again, I don't really like that, like, uh, some of these unit add on, like, supports. Because either, like, this Westfold axe is A, elite, which of course, like, of course it is. It's, most units uh, that are added are going to be, like, an elite unit. Like, I'd be, like, okay with maybe, like, a, an a levy, like, uh, Rohan unit being added. But, like, it's always, like, an elite unit. I know they haven't got many, like, elite infantry, but that's just because it's Rohan. It's, it's the horse lords, not the axe lords. Um, but anyway, uh, so I don't think Rohan ever needs a shock infantry, but it's what I'm basically getting at. I think it's got a fairly good roster for what you're supposed to be using it for. Like, in a land battle, you, you're going to be employing a lot of cav. You're not going to be using a lot of the infantry, uh, certainly in a campaign game. And then also kind of like at a, in a siege, you're just gonna have to rely on um, like some elite spears and like archer hybrids, which are pretty solid. And uh, and just try and hope with that. Like, I mean, the factions you're facing Isengard, you could probably overcome Isengard in a siege scenario quite easily. You just have to shoot their pikes out, just get rid like just use your missiles a lot. You gotta like really employ into like bows, I feel like as Rohan. Bows and Cav are gonna be your allies, I feel like, when you play that faction. Um, but yeah, we'll see how they do now. It's, uh, the elves have still got a bit of a responsibility over here. But uh, it's very much over to Rohan, really, I feel like, to do much. Well, I'll say that, actually. There's still a lot of elves. I can see still a lot of blue icons by that gate. An entire unit has perished. Hopefully they're going to send more out that gate, uh, just to maybe either just spice it up or just, uh, you know, maybe force Isengard to send more forces there. Uh, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. A charge from the elves. They want to get the charge off. It's a good idea instead of the shock tree. Not that I feel like Dunlum was going to ever charge. But I'm glad that the elves are coming down to fight in front of their uh, in front of their pole arms instead of just behind them like cowards they yeah, keep slicing and dicing them boys turn these gray brick stairs red with the blood of evil men 
And even Orcs. Oh, there they go. <laughs> stay and fight. Come on, come on. I have more respect if you stay and fight. Oh, okay. Fine. They're going to fall back behind the pole arms. I don't know how they're going to get rid of those pole arms. Um, honest. Oh, well. I guess the Dunher Chosen can use the Javi, like the uh, the throwing axes, which will do some damage, but I don't think it'll do a great amount. And it's going to take several units to try and get through that pole arm unit. Um, other option, which is uh, I think what they're going to do here, is go through the breach point over here. Well, it's not a breach point, but the other point, which is over here. And yeah, the uh, the, the uh, Rohan player is very much aware that the Helming Gas can just mount up here and start to machine gun into the backs of these. Uh, these attackers so this also probably isn't going to be successful so uh hopefully the attackers don't throw loads in here but i'm seeing the uryx now arrive so who knows the uryx are coming to join in this fun oh yeah here they are in real number yeah this this I mean, you're just gonna hope that the helmet gets run out of ammo but they have a supply barrel there so they could resupply yeah that's gonna be a problem um so yeah, it's like, what do you do now? Well, it's like, what do you do now? We've got Helming Gas up here. I think they're just shooting into anything that's right below them. Which is just some um, Blood, Blood Avengers. A very good elite unit. That they're probably going to need for later. Uh, we are seeing, looks like, archers setting up. They are trying to shoot into the Gladium Spear Warriors. I don't think the angle is going to be that great to, to take these guys out. But I honestly do not know. They're going to need some, like, extended shot or just, like, elven-level accuracy to try and even take that, uh, uh, those, those pull arms out. Helming gas there, there, yeah, just... Yeah, it's what do you do. Oh, my God. The helming gas can reach from there, okay. They're just shooting on down onto that bridge. Just like, yep, yeah, don't mind us. We're just going to keep firing away. I mean, the mod does look great. I mean, I never thought I'd ever see... I don't know if I can get an angle right. Like, just see... Men of Rohan here. Like, look at that. Men of Rohan. Firing down. You can see the thousands of orcs and evil men down there as well. Like, this is an total war tiller. It looks amazing. You never thought it would happen. But here we are. Heroes of Amon Lank losing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Oh, and they turned the other helmet gas around. Just in case one wasn't enough. I hope they have plenty of friendly fire. The falling back. I feel like a third army might be needed just to try and break through. A third large army. But just like the cheese I'm seeing with some of these tactics. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I know the players want to win. But, my gosh. This is like... I said it before when I saw this the first time in action. This is like war crime level sort of like abuse. Onto these, uh, they're shooting like rear shooting into the backs of Blood Avengers, which are already a light shock infantry in this uh, in this game, in this uh, this mod. So yeah, like murdering these guys. I'm really hoping that the uh, and they didn't bring any pikes, which is a bit silly to be honest. For a siege, you should always bring pikes. It's Isengard. They've killed four of these spear warriors. Not gonna be enough. They're gonna need a few more. See if we can get the angles. Okay, angle. well, you can see they have the high ground to start with. They're spearing down. I don't think that really has any d different benefit, but in reality, that would. The high ground and a. Ah, this might be better though. I think archers are being set up. Oh. Yeah, they're setting up archers onto the. Uh, onto the road, onto like this pathway up. It's probably going to help. And that might. The camera is not fun there at all. But they are killing some of these Gladium Spear Warriors. It's going to take a little while. But they might actually kill those spear warriors off and uh, and do some serious damage we'll see um but yeah i might make a quick cut i don't know whether anyone's actually going to do anything they might just be here a little while and try and whittle stuff down so i'll make a quick cut uh, but i will return if any sort of battles get underway we are back and yeah the elves decided to charge down i did this caught me by surprise as well but the elves charged down the stairs again i think trying to take out the uruk archers that were setting up uh, but I think they're going to retreat as quickly as they uh, arrive. It's a bit of a shame. Yeah, they're just here to just scare off the uh, the archers, really. So, uh, yeah, it looks like yeah, Isengard's just going to kind of fall back. Nope, he's going to go in. He's going to give it a go. He's going to try and break this pull-up line. He might 
kill a few more off. They are quite bloodied up, but I don't think he's going to kill them off. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, yeah, you can see here yeah, the Gladium Spear Warriors have lost 10 elves. Not enough. This actually would have been an ideal... You know, like I said, the uh, path... The camera here is terrible. Um, yeah, it actually would have been a, bit, a great opportunity for crossbows. Just to fire directly up that, that stairway and to try and uh, just focus these guys down. Arch is having a bit of a struggle with it. Yeah, I'll clean them slowly. I mean, it looks like they're maybe going to cycle charge with the Blood Avengers. Try and just get the charge bonuses and uh, try to do the damage that way. The archers are also doing a little bit of damage here and there, but a real stalemate it really is. It's like, oh, who will give more ground? Uh, but yeah, it looks like the defense here is too strong for the attacks to break through. It looks like this is going to be their way through if it's going to be anywhere. So yeah, again, oh, we're going to see a charge, I think, from the shock infantry. Nothing too scary, though. I think the remains of the elves should come over here, come and fight it out with Dunland. Yeah, these elves, well, you know, they'll fight. I'll do that a little bit. It's not really much of a battle, but, you know, it's the first bit of action I've seen in a little while. There you go. I think the elves either are breaking or, yeah, they've routed. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll cut once again, and I'll see you guys in a moment, because, again, we look like we're just back to square one, waiting for this Gladrum Spear Warrior to just get folks down and killed. We are back, and, ladies and gentlemen, finally, the Spear Warriors have been goaded out of their little den. The Urukai archers here, which do have ammo left, have been caught out, but there are more archers firing onto the Spear Warrior, and they might finally get some success here. Isengard, and we might see the Spear Warrior actually get taken out. I mean, they need to engage with something. Yeah, Urukai Infantry, that's fine. Send something in, and then finally, I think we are going to see the Spear Warrior getting killed off. It's taken a few minutes, but we have, uh, we have some success. The Isengard, anyway. I'm kind of rooting for Isengard at the moment, because I feel like they're having a tough time of it. They lost a lot of men to get not very far. I mean, what are their numbers left? 4,000 against 1,900. Not terrible, actually. Only 3,000 men uh, lost, and you can see mostly Dunland troops have been lost. Um, I, I imagine. I think the Uruks have got a fair amount left. I think Dunland actually does have some decent stuff like that left, like these defenders of Bonnevale. Um, so, yeah. Looks like, yeah, there you go. Finally, Gladrum Spearoids are broken through. Now the Force lives. of Evil can rush up here, take this cat point, and then go through. Uh, there's a little doorway over here. You go through there, and then you're into the last stand, I think. You're into, uh, well, not quite the last stand, but you're in over here. Uh, somewhere, it just pops you out here somewhere. I can't remember where exactly. Does it, pop, does it pop you out there? I don't remember. I don't think I've ever seen it get broken through. But anyway, in other news... Isengard archers have also, uh, Urukai archers have also broken through here. And they're fighting shock infantry. This will be a very short affair. At least they're distracting the defenders a little bit. Maybe they're not realizing that they've lost their spears. I imagine they have. They're probably setting something excellent to replace them. But yeah, the shock infantry here, just up in their KD, you know. Yeah, I'm seeing a. There is a stream of uh, evil forces now getting ready to go in there. So let's see what's the uh, send in. I mean, they nearly captured the point. Big win that'll help with morale. And then I want to see where they go through. I don't think I've ever seen the forces of evil use this passageway. But you can use this doorway. It will go somewhere. I'm just remembering where. I think it just pops you out somewhere over here. I don't think there is actually. We'll see though. They're going to go through in a moment. Just see a whole horde of Urks. Yeah, where do they go? Where do you guys turn up? Oh, there they are. So they do come out through that cave. Oh, that's very cool. So here we are. They're in the final stand. If they can manage to actually, like, manage to capture that gate. Uh, oh, there's two ways, I guess. There's two ways in. But if they can manage to, like, stop the defenders from getting back inside the settlement and then, like, almost fortifying themselves in, inside the Hornburg. It'd be like a bit of a coup there. They managed to do that. Yeah, Dunhur chosen leading the way. Urux coming in behind as well. Urk and Brand better start firing those bows. He's barely quivering. Oh god, guards have Muda cell here. So we've got some good infantry. Wait, and here we go. Shark infantry clashes with the spears on the walls here. Imagine Urk and Brand's gonna start loosening some shots into the side. Here 
Here we go. In goes the swords as well. Guys, we just have only lost a few few soldiers. They're going to need to try someone else here because, yeah, you can see the Helding Gas are going to start firing into the men on the walls here, trying to do what damage they can. I wouldn't send any more through at this point. There's no point. Yeah, here you go. Archer's going to start melting. These Uruks that have uh, managed to get in. Attacking our general. Enemies attacking our general. I think that must be the uh, look, arrows are overshooting. There's still plenty of troops outside the wall. Get these guys inside. Got to do something with them. Wyand Stormers. We've got Troll Hunter Champions. I've never seen this unit. It's a heavy command. Okay. I imagine this is going to be some insane unit. I'm expecting it to do great stuff. It's a silver chevron thing as well. Okay. Um, Uruks are moving forward this way. They're just getting shot for the fun of it. Going to make an attempt at the gate. Really? Hald is here with what remains of his Twilight Guard ammunition as well. I mean, I'm going to see archers also come through as well. Urukai archers. Looks like they're mounting on the wall and they're going to start shooting maybe the guard's Mudaseld or like maybe the shock that's been left here. This is the elven shock that retreated as well. The cowards. Yeah, they are. I think they're just. They're shooting Urkenbrand. I'm going to shoot him. I just shoot the sword warriors. You're not going to win a, a, a bow fight with Urkenbrand. It's a light bow up against a, a heavy bow. Oh, not a fair fight for Isengard. But yeah, it seems like the guards move so. They'll hold it for a while. They know what they're doing. This is what I mean. Like, this is what you rely on as a Rohan. Just, like, really elite spears and then good bows. You just gotta, like, try and focus down the right units. And in a siege battle scenario, that is. In the land battle, you should be using cav and exclusively cav. Cav only armies, it's the way to go. Yeah, they need to send in some better shock. Ah, speak of the devil, don't have chosen arrived, which is just more the same, but it's a healthier unit, so it might help. And shock excels against spears. That might work in uh, in the attacker's favors. We'll see. We have seen Gladium Soul Warriors going onto the wall, and I said that these guys do really well on the walls. So uh, we'd not be surprised if that's the case. We have also got early men at arms holding, uh, being forced back in the gate now. So uh, good to see Isengard opening up another front, trying something. I think this was, is with the help of uh, Dunlin with those like half orc uh, like infantry. I forgot what they're called. But yeah, they're in there. Half Orc Warriors. And another assault being made here. It's an all out assault on every front. And this is what they need to do now, which is they need to attack at every spot to the uh, attackers and just try and stretch the defenses. Eventually they'll find a way through. They have the numbers. They have like four times the numbers when we last checked. They're making them expend the ammo as well. I mean, there's a lot of shock going down here. These Helming Gas are nearly out of ammo. Balance of power. 3,800 against 1,700. Yeah, they've like, they've still got a lot of manpower to, like they can rely on him. Dunhead archers coming in. They need it, like I said, to start using it to try and fire down onto, I don't know, some other units that are fighting in. We've got uh, guards of Mudasel that are starting to die, but not quickly enough. They could do with shooting like shock or uh, some just reserves of some sort um, that the elves are just mounting up. And we're seeing like these guys falling back as well. They're giving up more ground. The pole arms are going to hold here, but yeah, they already accepted that they're going to uh, be broken through. Halder's actually in the gateway here. I do like it, find it funny that you go into here, it's like all muffled, like you're when you're under, when you're under this archway. It's kind of a bit silly, I feel like. But yeah, all the twins of Halder are all down here dying. That's sad to see. Poor Halder's twins. They'll be remembered. I'm gonna, oh, they may be protecting this. I think they're protecting the gate. They're not falling back necessarily. Just protecting the gate. Okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. But yeah, it does look like the attackers are breaking through partially. The elves are sending these guys packing. A quick counter attack, quick counter charge. And the elven shock and retreat should send these guys back to the, uh, the deeping wall. Back to Isengard, maybe even. I think there's, oh, we've got berserkers over here. They'll be, yeah. Be, well, actually, I think they're being. Sh I think it's the elves getting shot here by Dunhead archers. So actually, Berserkers getting support there. And they're a healthy the unit. Has been lost. The advantage has been lost. I don't think they ever held it, but it's 1,500 against 
3,600. They need to try and take out Erkenbrand, who's for some reason now outside the walls, like the final walls. Interesting. Um, also looks like they're starting to struggle in this wall here. We're actually seeing Gladium Soul Warriors lose decisively. So uh, I don't know. I'm not room for like Rohan or Isengard at this point. It's kind of getting close. Getting very interesting. There's still 15 minutes left. It could go either way. So there's defenders of Bonnevale coming in. Yeah, the uh, Zerk is down here, still slicing and dicing. They are arguably one of the best shocking tree around. And it also helps that they fight to the last man, or the last Uruk. Yeah, they're still very light. I was going to say, I wonder if they've been altered, maybe. Maybe the stats have been, I don't know. But they are starting to lose, actually, uh, to the Gladium Sword Warriors. Lots of archers being mounted on the wall now. This is going to really make a difference. Oh, and the shock infantry as well. Uh, they're throwing in their axes, trying to have a bit of a say. I don't think they're actually very good, so they might need to be careful they don't like kill some of the berserkers down here. But uh, yeah, these Gladium Sword Warriors are starting to wave and break. We're seeing more reserves coming out of the back here. Gladium Boat Warriors with no ammo, and Twilight Guard with no ammo. They're going to throw these guys in, I think, to the choke point soon. It is now solely, apart from one shock infantry, just Rohan inside the Hornburg now. And using the guards to move himself to defend Erkenbrand. It looks badass, I'll give him that, but I don't think it's needed. I don't think uh, Erkenbrand is in really any danger of getting focused out that much. I mean, archers do have zero missile block chance, I, but they didn't have a, lo a lot of ammo that they're going to do serious damage here. What is going to be a problem is these Axe Saints are soon going to be the first thing on the front line, and they're not going to hold against Shock Infantry and the uh, Swords of Isengard. The Pole Arms here are still holding the, uh, the, the, uh, the Bridge Assault at bay, which is no surprise because they've got nothing they can go through there. I'm intrigued to see what these, um, oh, they are a Javi, like a Javi unit. These uh, troll champions, uh, they're ja I hope their javelins do insane amount of damage. That seems like a massive javelin or like a massive arrow that's turned into a javelin. These troll hunter champions better do some serious damage. Uh, and uh, hopefully they do. I mean, very good for taking out a Galadrim Spear Warrior as a Javi unit. Just any pole arm as a Javi unit can do very well against. Halde is now up on the wall. How the heck did he get up here? I guess he escaped through the uh, side part of the uh, the archway. His cousins and his twins and brothers are still fighting now on the wall here. Fighting and dying against Uruks. It does look very silly. I don't know how this book ever came about. Like I don't feel like Lothorin ever needed fiddling with. Yet somehow it has been fiddled with. And Haldir is now time 60. But he's winning. And I'm not surprised because he has 45 Haldirs at his side. Is that... Uh, well, 44 Haldirs at his side as the Haldir general. And it looks like... Uh, oh, gosh, yeah. The camera's been a real pain. Looks like the uh, attackers are kind of getting forced back here. Wyand Stormers and Venus of Bonneville now holding these, this small cordon. There's the elite's been relied on, but they're losing. They've really broken through these early men at arms. The whole unit there has been destroyed. is a lot of blobbing up now going on on this uh, on this wall, but there's very little holding them back now. Guards have themselves nearly dead. Then it's a helming gas unit that's got to do the job of holding back this massive shock. The swords appear. They've done well, these spears. They've done as well as they can. I don't know if they killed many men or many Urux. Keep up the good fight. The pole arms are winning. They've actually... Oh, I thought they'd maybe push them back, but they haven't. The yeah, no surprise. I think they're just letting these, uh, these half-orc warriors die, and then they're going to start shooting. Start blasting those pole arms, doing what damage they need to do. What's in the wall over there? What is... Oh, they're just reorganizing. Okay. It uh, looks like... Oh, wow. Yeah, they've actually like, routed everything on that wall there. That is a win, so yeah. Force of Evil are going to need to send in what they have remaining, which is really their generals, Wyand Berserkers. Oh, Wyand Berserkers? Okay, I didn't realize this is a new unit. I just said that, like, they're normal. We just have another Berserker unit, but it's an elite one. It's a very heavy shock. 
We have an all Berserker there. Okay. A Wyand Berserkers. That's a different one. Um, but yeah, they're going to get set in soon. The remaining Berserkers and Wyand Berserkers. Uh, I would not send them up this way. This seems like there's plenty. And also just getting stuck on that wall anyway. They need to send the remains of their forces in to try and just tie down this force here. There's no real, like, ammo left. So the Berserkers should do exactly... Like, excel really well. The only archer ammo, I think, is with the uh, attackers. In come the reserves. How did landing more guy, uh, sending more guys in? Yeah, here we go. I've really just, yeah, I think there we go. We've seen the uh, the generals, well, a general getting activated. We have the general's uh, yeah, champion, Revis. He's not going to be doing much anytime soon. Uh, we are seeing a, and there's a lot of troops being backlogged up here, like a lot of Dunhurd swords, which need to uh, really be set in other directions because unless they can, I mean, they will focus down these Gladium Spear Warriors quickly enough. It's just whether the, the rest of their army will be alive by the time they break through. Come on, boys. Get the Javis up. I don't know why they haven't just used the uh, champions, the, the troll into champions. They would, I imagine, rip through them. Yeah, they are now being brought back up. I think that question's been asked. Why aren't the Javis being used? There's no more pikes. Oh, there is a bit of ammo left. Erkenbrand has some. He's just saving it. Helming gas now. Being pushed back along this wall. It's looking rough for Rohan now. I would thought they had this all wrapped up. I thought just how they like defended. They was like how they cheesed it. Almost. It was like, ah, oh, you, you, they're going to win. I mean, they could have cheesed harder, definitely. At some of the choke points, but they didn't. I respect that. They had a lot left for this final stand. They're trying to hold on. We're getting stuck. He's <laughs> lobbed up at this little uh, corner of the wall. Like, oh, excuse me. I just need a bit of room to throw to wield my axe. Oh, sorry, sir. Oh, we're seeing more berserkers going in. I think, yeah, the reserves are going in. And archers are starting to fire now, making this defense pretty unattainable, I would have thought, for the for the defenders. We're seeing, yeah, full ammo Urukai archer now coming. That's got to just start blasting into the back of these heroes of ammo. Like, do as much damage as you can. Like, shock infantry dealing against these uh, these spears and then being shot in the back that's got to be deadly and almost fatal I would have thought for all of these elves in this position generally they're holding on the thin blue line here of here is Vamon Lang your bit boys fight on for Haldir and his twins and cousins Helmingas coming off the wall they're going to be needed somewhere where are they going to be sent though I think they're okay inside the Hornburg at the moment maybe here I don't know if they they need to well, maybe they think they need to win on this wall to try and force back um Force back the archers, and they've turned the archers actually around now. Have the attackers, and they've got them firing inside the uh, the Hornburg and into the cordon. I think they're trying to kill. Oh no, they aren't. They were shooting Erkenbrand because Erkenbrand's down to literally very few troops left, 34. And I just keep shooting him. If you can kill him, you'll break the spine of the uh, Rohan morale. Their morale is not great once their generals lost. Certainly, their infantry, their axe stains will be appalling. Like Haldir, if you kill him, it's not going to do much. These heroes of Alan Lang will hold on. Oh, there we go. Haldis just died. Uh, some of his cousins are still alive, but you know. Hal the Haldir is dead. And like I said, that's not going to affect these elite, like, elite elves that are left. The Twilight Guard and the heroes of Alan Lang, they'll just hold on. They'll keep fighting. But if you kill Erkenbrand, those lower tier. Rohan units, they'll, they'll start to crumble. There's quite a few of them left. Yeah, a lot of uh, axe stays. I mean, they might not crumble immediately because they're silver chevron, but they'll certainly do some damage. And here we go. This is what the defenders feared most. Dunland has broke through the gate. Champion Reavers and uh, Dunland Swords are now through. 
they are ready to go into the back of all those spears. I would just charge in with the general. Yeah, there you go. It looks like he's just, he's not slowing down. He's going in and the spears see it. They're trying to retreat. Well, they are what I'd be targeting at this point. Try and take out those spears. Looks like a counter charge has come in. Oh, this general could be in a little bit of trouble. Dunman needs to be, don't pull through. That's for sure. He should be okay. Yeah, looks like he's winning decisively. And also he's relieving some pressure onto this, uh, this choke point here, which now allows the Berserkers and the uh, Wine Stormers and the Defenders of Bonneville to come out. And you can see the swords, they'll come up in support. There's a lot of them. There's a, this is like the largest bunch of remaining, like, London and Isengard troops. The healthy amount of swords here. I've still got these um, champions, which I want to see in action. They don't seem to be being used. Enemy forces have seized our gates. Oh, there you go. The gates have been seized. Didn't take too long. The fighting at the Hornburg is uh, looking a little bit more desperate. A little bit more desperate. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you had uh, some good snacks for this one. It's certainly a snack-worthy battle. Looks like but the Helming Gas are kind of holding the line for now. That's the thing. It's a good thing. And again, over here, they're winning their fight. I mean, this is against two weakened units, but Helming Gas is solid, solid, solid unit. They, that it can shoot first as well. Dude. Like, you, you can rack up hundreds of kills with that unit easily. Oh, here we go. They finally used the Troll Hunters. Uh, I think they were trying to, but failed. The uh, archers down here, they're starting, starting to go. And there you go, I think the elves are all gone now. It is now just Rohan. So if they manage to kill Urkenbrand, I imagine with army losses, a 500 against 2,500, I could see a Rohan mass routing at that sort of site. Here we go. I think we're going to see these Javis get finally used. No, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, they're throwing them. I was kind of expecting explosions or something. I don't know what I was expecting, but I was expecting more. Come on, boys. Look at troll hunters damage. These are no trolls. These are just men of Rohan. Yeah, just take out the, the, the orcs. We don't care about them. There we go. Yeah, they are doing good damage though, I think, to the unit. Campers and Moodicel are dropping pretty quickly. I imagine they probably have pretty good missile block as well. Uh, they're killing a few more, but they just seem like an average bit. Like, they are an elite unit. It's an elite Java unit. I feel like it's something the game is missing, though. I'd like to see, like, an elite Javi. I don't know if Dunlan's the one to have it. I know this is just a, a sub-mod, but I feel like an elite Javi unit would be cool. Maybe Dunlan is the faction to have it. Like, really good, like, Javi unit then can go into melee. It'd be very similar to, obviously, like, a Helming Gas in the sense that it's just... It's a good hybrid unit, but it would just be more the close-range stuff. I'd like to see that, but maybe I guess you could say that's sort of almost like if you just gave, made like an elite Pelagian Marine, that's what it is. But I'd like them to be like primar primarily Javis, like have a lot of Javelins on them, and then they go into melee after. But there you go, yeah. Guards and Mudacel, they're now going to come charging out to try and deal with these uh, troll hunters here. I think. Oh, here you go. It's not looking good. Urkenbrand. A uh, general has fallen. Urkenbrand is gone. It's fighting shock infantry down here. He's going to always struggle in that fight. There you go. I think we're going to see a mass route soon, I would have thought. Then Urkenbrand's starting to waver already. I think we'll see a similar thing in a moment from the rest of Rohan's armies. Also, they're running out of reserve spawns this gate. Axanes are next once the uh, guards move to sell fall. What's this sword unit just rallied back here? I guess they just forgot about it. Really, Isengard was already holding the keep. But it does seem as though, with Urkenbrand falling, oh, they also just snuck through here. I forget that you can just do that. And you do that by taking this wall. Which yeah, they could do it until they took the gate. Uh, it's such a pain. But you can actually sneak in so many different ways in it. Just make it kind of interesting. Like, holding the gate is quite important because it's an immediate access to your capture point. But yeah, here we go. I think this is slowly being overwhelmed with these remaining Isengard units. A rear charge here. You should see these Axanes off. Or these guards move to sell, sorry, off. Oh, there are Axanes in there too. Yeah, they're wavering. And it looks like Isengard is going to capture Helm's Deep with the help of the men of Dunland. And Rohan and the elves have died for nothing. 
So even though they failed to destroy the uh, deeping wall with uh, those sappers all the way at the beginning, didn't matter. They just about had enough. I mean, there was 2,200 left. And there you go, a valiant defeat for Rohan. So we'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. Um, this was sent in um, by God uh, Handle over, over Heavy, or I think it is. Oh, God, Han God Handle anyway, sent it in. Um, he was playing as Rohan. Uh, his retainer is getting 173 kills, 168. It's not too shabby for them. They're not an amazing sword unit, so that's a good result for them. Westfold Axe is 296 kills, one of the modded Warriors of Arda unit. Uh, it's kind of an interesting unit. It did pretty well. Um, the other one's not so great, but I think they might have sallied out. Um, 159 kills with the Axe Saints is very good for them. I mean, they were Silver Chevron, so that helps. And none of the guards in Moodle Cells actually did that great. 57, the best kills. Uh, Helm and Gas, 225, 200 kills. Not too bad. Then we have Capitan here playing as uh, Lothlorium. 308 kills with Haldir here. Very, very nice. Gladrium Sword Warriors, 181 kills. Uh, 252 kills. 123. So not sure two shabby kills there some very nice kills here is a valmond lank 126 kills 140 kills uh gladium spear warriors 120 163 kills the bow warriors here and then the twilight guard 225 222 then we have legio uh 22 here playing as isengard spamming out those uruk uh, urukai infantry some of them got 123 kills it's not too bad but yeah most not getting many kills uh the berserk is 103 kills and then his archer is getting 108 kills there and those sappers the big fat zero then we have bronco playing as the dunlading tribes uh, with a load of whole new like mo like modded in units which is very very cool to see uh the defenders of bonneville nearly getting wiped out and getting less than 100 kills between them uh blood avengers 63 kills i don't like that they got brought down to a light shock i'm not a big fan of that I done her chosen getting uh, 143 kills um the best there i think 129 with another one there 113 and then yeah none of his like blood sworn really getting many kills either and those troll hunters getting 80 kills and still being healthy but there you go guys that is today's helms deep siege i hope you did enjoy if you did do remember to leave a like subscribe if you're around here and a comment to show support and i'll see you guys in the next one bye for now